Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this little guy right here. This is the uh, uh, Surefire Fire Pack. Very interesting little piece of kit. Um, and first off, though, I want to thank very much my buddy Jesus for actually donating this guy to the channel. He had one of these guys, it was sort of a spare that he wasn't using, um, and uh, he, he said, you know, hey Nick, I, I've got this, it's new in box, you want to check it out. That's a beautiful thing of him, so thank you very much for that, Jesus. Next thing, let's do a size comparison real quick. Um, first off, I'll throw it up here against a uh, standard well, whatever country ruler. Um, and see, what we can see here is this guy is actually not trivially small. We're looking at about, oh, about four and a half inches here overall. Then it's widest point. We're someplace in the two and a, two and a quarter uh, sort of range. And then thickness-wise, we are someplace in the three-quarter inch range, depending on how you want to measure. Here it is against some other things. This is the uh, through night DM, uh, the, the, the 10,000 lumens. 10,000 lumens. Sorry, I got that wrong. Uh, here it is against the uh, through night uh, Neutron TC. And this was the night core by the way not through night uh here it is against the neutron 2c so there we go um and then here it is against i should probably keep the thing i'm size comparing against on the screen right um here it is against a standard cr123 and an 18650 battery so what we can see here is, yeah, it's a, it's a reasonably sized sort of piece of light. Next thing, this is a weird product. Um, this is 100% a weird product because it is actually two things at once. Um, it is a flashlight. Uh, right here, as you can see, it is lighting flashily. Um, however, it is also a, a power pack um, for, for USB recharging. If we uh, you know peel off this little corner here, uh, what we can see here is that this has a, a USB input as well as USB output. Um, and so it's sort of a weird thing, but um, because of some, well, let's just put it this way, some issues. Um, this is going to be a quick review. So I'm going to talk about what I like about it. What? Ah, pardon me. And what I don't like about it. And then we'll take it from there. So on the good side, start with um, one thing that is interesting. This was really designed first and foremost actually to be a smartphone camera light. So you would take this guy and you would attach it to the camera of your smartphone here and then it would be able to basically illuminate the thing that's directly in front of you. If I were to kind of mock this up, what we would end up with is something that looks like this. Um, and so that way you have a, a very strong flashlight to film with. That's not a bad idea in principle, right? Um, and so the fact that it has these little rails there and it, they, they sold for a while compatible smartphone cases, that's kind of a cool idea, right? And in fact, to, to, to support this, so to speak, they actually have a smartphone app that lets you not only, and this is a Bluetooth connected device, there is literally a Bluetooth connection in here. You can download an app, I tried it for iOS, and it lets you do things like monitor the battery life of the unit here, it lets you t turn on the light, it also lets you adjust more continuously. You get a much better range of, uh, of brightness settings um, using the smartphone app relative to using the uh, physical switch on the side of the light here, which is how you control the turning on and off. Um, so it's actually a continuous adjustment there. Um, one other thing that's note is that you can, sorry, weird noises out there. Um, one other thing that's notable is that you can actually control, you can turn the light on and off using Bluetooth, uh, which means that in theory, you could, as long as you're within Bluetooth range, set this light up someplace and then turn it on and off using your smartphone. This is sort of an unusual thing for a flashlight. In fact, this is the only light I know of that supports it. There are probably other Bluetooth lights out there. Let me know in the comments if there are. But nevertheless, that's kind of a cool thing. And I can see that having some applications in some specific cases. Um, so that's good. Um, next thing, brightness on this guy is quite good. We are looking at a 1500 100 lumen high, and I truly do believe that. I'm um, for about an hour and a half uh, worth of charge on this guy, and then you have a 100 lumen low mode for 10 hours. The other modes in between are sort of unspecified, but um, you're going to be getting someplace between 1.5 and 10 hours there. Um, that's absolutely a lot of brightness. And frankly, even at the low mode, this is reasonably bright here. You might be able to get a, a lower setting. <coughs> pardon me. It lasts a little longer if you turn it on with the app, which gives you the ability to control in a wider range. But still, that's something to keep in mind. Next thing, switch on this guy is pretty good. You can see here it's got these little ramps here that prevent your uh, fingers from accidentally hitting it. Um, but it is relatively easy to move once you do that. Uh, first setting, by the way, turns it on to a pairing mode, basically, where the smartphone can control it. Um, and also, this is the mode that will charge something. If you plug a USB cable in here, you can use this guy to charge your phone or whatever just by putting it in this first mode. But then the switch itself is relatively secure. It's not easy to, to turn on accidentally, but it's not hard to manipulate as you're using it. So that's a beautiful thing. Next thing, um, one thing I'll highlight, this has two lights here. Um, as near as I can tell, they are doing the same thing. And in fact, they come on in every mode, although sometimes one of them is brighter than the other. 
But what we can see here is that we actually end up with a, a consistent beam pattern here. This is just sort of one beam pattern. Um, it doesn't feel like there are two different, you know, uh, lights going on there. E e unless you are really super close up to something, you don't get any sense that there are two different light elements. And that's a nice optical trick. Next thing, this is USB rechargeable. Of course it is. It's USB recharging. But th th that's a nice thing. I like USB recharged lights just because it's one less thing you have to worry about. You already have a charger for it. And that's a beautiful thing. Next thing, this guy is a multitasker. This is sort of the best thing, I think, about, about this guy, um, which is that this takes two objects that are going to be, you know, unitaskers in your life, so to speak. Um, like, for instance, you have right over here a USB power bank. This is a big old guy. This is a 15,000 milliamp hour sort of thing. I, or I think that's the unit. But either way, it's a big guy from Anchor. 15,600 milliamp hours. Um, and, and see, you might carry one of these guys around as well as an everyday carry flashlight. What this allows you to do is actually to condense that, to have one thing that can serve as a power pack to charge your cell phone, charge your other accessories, charge your other lights, um, or it can be a very functional bright flashlight. Um, I love, love, love very much the idea of having both of those things. And although I couldn't find a milliamp hour rating for this particular item, um, it is an interesting idea at the very least and I was able to charge my phone more or less I think from like 25% all the way back up using this guy and then recharge the unit itself so that's kind of a cool idea I think that the idea of having a multitasking light that is able to do both uh, charging your devices as well as offering a very capable flashlight because this is a very capable flashlight um that that's a great thing and for some people who just want to carry one item I can see this really scratching an itch so to me all that's the good is that it's multitasking whereas most most of these things are single tasking. It's a USB rechargeable item. It has a single patch of even light, despite having two different light elements here. It has a very secure switch. It is quite bright. Um, it has a smartphone app, and there are rails for smartphone mounting. On the bad side, to start with, I was talking about that app. Um, it's a little out of date. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I, I fired this guy up, and uh, it's kind of clear that this hasn't seen any love for the last maybe four or five years, potentially. Um, it doesn't trigger the camera mode any. Like, I can use the camera, but it doesn't trigger the light anymore. Um, or at least on the latest iOS that I'm running, I, 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 there were some problems with it. It's, it's, it's running, but I get the sense that in a couple of years it mo may no longer, at least on the Apple world. Um, I can't vouch for the Android app. Maybe it's better, um, but still. The app is definitely a little bit out of date. You can kind of tell that it's been, I don't know if it's been abandoned. That might not be fair, but it hasn't seen a, uh, an uh, update in a while. Next thing, there is um, no low mode on this guy. Um, what I mean by that is that this is the lowest mode, but the lowest mode is very capable. It's 100 lumens. It's very capable of lighting up a room. There is absolutely no... Uh, this is not low. I mean, if we compare the low mode on this guy to the lowest mode on this guy here... Let's dim this on down. Yeah, so this is super bright, and this is relatively dim, and that's not even with the moonlight sort of thing. This just has sort of one setting, and that setting is, yeet, here you go, have some light. It's serious business. Um, You can use the green LED if you're looking for a very, very minimal amount of light, you know, like moonlight mode. That's almost there, but that's almost not enough to even read a map or something like that. So I really do wish that there were an intermediate light setting in between, oh my God, and off. Um, That would be nice. And actually, that gets at another issue, which is that the battery life on this guy isn't, you know, it's fine. It's, you know, an hour and a half of 1,500 lumens ain't so bad. And 10 hours of 100 lumens, that'll get you through a shift, so to speak. But at the same time, uh, the fact that there is no lower mode means that if you're just using this guy at a, you know, at a low level, so to speak, you're going to end up with only 10 hours of life. It's USB recharged, but it, 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 I really feel like that's a lack. Next thing, we're talking about that iPhone, uh, where it, I'm sorry, the uh, phone case thing. They also had them from the Samsung Galaxies. But the thing is, unfortunately, the cases, although they are for sale, they are very out of date now. Um, they have cases available right now for the iPhone 6, 7, and 8. As you might recall, uh, those are the generation that's two years old now, I think. On the iPhone side, we're up to the, um, oh God, what is this thing? The XS 
Pro, the X Pro, iPhone Pro, I don't freaking know. Either way, um, we're a couple of years back behind that. And so, and similarly on the Android side, the, the only item that they had support for is old school. And unfortunately, they don't provide anything else for this. It would be great if they offered, like on their website, a sticker that would give you a set of rails that you could apply to your current phone case. That would be great. I think that would make this much more accessible. Um, but they didn't do that. They were trying to sell the phone cases, but unfortunately, phones are not something that stay uniform, right? Um, and so that's that's not great. And the other thing is they don't include a, a pocket clip for this. The easiest thing that they could have done is to give us a plastic piece that just gives me a pocket clip here. That would have been brilliant, but they didn't do it. And especially considering that this guy is a forward-facing light, imagine having a nice pocket clip on this guy. I could just mount this in the front of my shirt and just have light, you know, streaming out off the front of me there. That's kind of a nice thing, but I really, they, 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 they didn't do that. And so unfortunately, then, these rails are sort of a waste, and there's no clip, there's no other way to carry this guy, um, because they, they haven't kept the cases up to date. So I really hope that if they're considering, you know, keeping this product around, that they think about making a set of, just like a, either a sticker or even just a clip on this guy, make that a lot easier. Next thing, one thing that is a downside of doing it the way that they have, where they're anticipating attaching it to a phone like this, is that they've gone with these forward-facing lights, and this is fine if you're doing it on a phone and you're filming with it, but it is an absolute freaking train wreck if you were trying to hold this in hand because it is not supernatural to hold something that's going to be in front of you in this way like if i'm trying to illuminate this direction i am holding this thing in a variety of ways none of which are great and all of which require my full hand as opposed to something like this where i can keep my you know i uh, yeah so i feel like this ergonomically is not a great choice unless it is attached to a phone and so that's a, a major problem then finally um the price on this guy is quite high it's 200 bucks now, look, don't get me wrong. I'm willing to pay 200 bucks for a light. That's fine. But, and, you know, the fact that it could replace a light and a power bank, that helps. But the fact is you could buy an amazing light and an amazing power bank for that same kind of cost. And frankly, they would both probably combine. They could be just as compact. I mean, like one of my favorite power banks is right here. I mean, these two things right here. This is the, um, the, 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 the Jetbeam RRT01 Revised. Uh, these two things together are just not that much more space and not that much more weight. And I believe that this guy will actually have just a little bit more in the way of capacity than this guy does. I can't vouch for that. But just based on the amount of, you know, uh, the, the reduction in overall charge, charging up a phone, either way. So I feel like 200 bucks is a little bit steep. It's more than a little bit steep. And so to me, all of that is the bad, is that it's 200 bucks. It is an ergonomic train wreck to use it this way. Um, but unfortunately, you can't get the case that makes it reasonable to use anymore for modern phones. Um, well, modern. Uh, that's being totally dickish. I mean, the iPhone 8 is still a very modern phone, but you can't get them for the latest generation that a lot of folks are using these days. Um, there is no low mode on it, and the app is definitely out of date. Final conclusion wise, I love the idea of turning a single item in your, I'm sorry, two items in your everyday carry into one item. If you can take two things and turn them into one thing, very often that's a major gain in simplicity. It's a major gain in efficiency. You can, you know, uh, get some weight back. And so I love love, love the idea of having a light that is both a charging pack as well as a flashlight. It means you're carrying just one thing, and this is capably both of those things. It is a real honest-to-God light. I took this guy out walking, and although God knows the ergonomics drove me a little nuts, this is more than capable as an, as an everyday light, and it is a very capable charging pack as well. I like that a lot. Unfortunately, though, uh, although I like the idea very much of combining those two things into one item, this didn't turn out to be the way I want to go because the smart features on it are getting less smart as the software ages. The light lacks a low mode. The phone case is kind of a, that's a bit of a gimmick and it doesn't even work with modern phones anymore. The ergonomics are just terrible without the phone case and it's the price of several great choices. You know, you could get two dedicated items that'll work just as well, if not better. And so I think that this is a great idea, 100%, but I think it's also a little bit poorly executed. If they hadn't gone all in on this being a smartphone related knife, or a knife, sorry, a smartphone related light they, they they could have done something i think a little more compelling mount these guys this way and then you end up with a candy bar style light that is also a charger i think that would have been great and especially if they'd given me a little more gradients in this sort of thing give me 10 settings rather than four oh man this could be something stellar um uh, but and maybe you know what 
maybe with the smartphone case, maybe when the app was in its heyday, this really was something amazing. That's a possibility. Um, but right now, honestly, I don't know that I would send you here. And by the way, it's also a pain in the neck to get this open unless you keep long fingernails, but that's beside the point. But right now, I think this is just sort of not a great idea. Um, I love the idea behind the fire pack. I'm sorry, buying this is not a great idea. The idea behind it's good. I, and I'd like to see something along these lines again, uh, whether it's from Surefire or somebody else. I mean, I'd love to see more phone, or uh, the flashlight makers, that is, as they're building things like this, build in the reverse charging mode. That's a great idea, 100%. Um, but for now, although I think it's a really cool idea, this implementation here, I do not think is going to uh, light your fire back. So anyways, there you go. I hope this has been interesting to you. Have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.